This is Resident Evil Code Veronica X. Um, never heard this before, but you know, GameCube is kind of coming back in a hard way. <laughs> Hey YouTube, what's going on? My name is Rob, also known as Chesapeake Picker. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, I'm a part-time reseller based out of Virginia. All right, do or die time for my Cleveland Browns. Today, we're going to take down the Steelers at 1 o'clock. I don't care if it's a joke of a game because they benched everybody. We're still going to win. All right, let's go ahead and get some orders pulled. First item we got is a coin collector book. This is just a dollars, $3.50 plus shipping. Next up, we got a DVD out of A1. Australia on Blu-ray. Next up is out of F. Set of two Roots DVDs. Next up is on the Batman shelf. Got this, got this Stephen King book, The Stand. And go back to F, get the Sherlock Holmes DVD. The Michelangelo shelf here, we got this Batman No Man's Land book. Next out of G2, we got a DVD, a good year. Over to the Raphael shelf in my vinyl box. We got Faster Pussycat. And then up on the Alderan shelf where I keep all my hats, got one of these Norfolk Tide hats. Got eight of those. So I got these two DVDs here. This is The Roots and The Roots, The Next Generation. They uh, they got the shrink wrap on the outside here, but they are used DVDs. I picked these up for a buck each at the thrift store. And they sold for $26 with free shipping. If you guys saw my last video where I took you out uh, thrift store shopping with me, I picked up this Stephen King book, The Stand. Uh, this is a first edition of this complete and uncut. So if you're going to pick up Stephen King novels, you definitely want to make sure they're first editions. Otherwise, they're going to be selling for like $4 with free shipping. This was a good copy here, and I, I think I spent $3.98 on this or something. Um, it did sell for $34.99 with free shipping, and not a bad flip for only having it a couple days. Also picked up this Sherlock Holmes DVD. This is uh, a collection of 17 movies with some of the older um, guys that had played, like Christopher Lee, Basil Rathbone. Um, so I got a buck into this, and it sold for $12.99 with free shipping. I got this hardcover copy of Batman No Man's Land novel. I picked this up for a buck at a thrift store and it sold for $27.99 with free shipping. A couple months back, I picked up a whole bunch of records at the thrift store. They had a lot of good titles. I've sold through most of them now and I've just made a bunch of money off of them. This is one of the last ones I have going out. This is Faster Pussycat. This one sold for $40 free shipping and I bought it for $1.98. One day I was at the thrift store, I came across a whole bunch of these. I got eight of them in total that I bought. This is Norfolk Tides. This is our minor league baseball team hat. Uh, minor league baseball is definitely good stuff to pick up. You know, sometimes it may sit around for a while, but it does tend to sell for pretty decent money. Um, so this one I have a dollar into. It sold for $19.99 with free shipping. Been a while since I sold one of these. Uh, got this wicker basket here. If you guys are new to the channel, you may not have seen, but... I got a whole ton of these things from a garage sale for like maybe 50 cents a piece. I've sold through quite a few of them. Um, they sell for pretty good money and it's not a bad investment if you don't mind uh, sitting on it for a while. So 50 cents in, I had it up for $36.99 plus shipping. Uh, somebody sent me an offer for $20 and I went ahead and took it. It's been sitting around for a while, so not too shabby to send this guy out and it's in excellent condition. First thing I got up here is this uh, Dooney and Burke purse. I picked this up because I had some pretty nice comps and I got it for super cheap. So I got this at a yard sale for $3. Um, not too shabby there. I had it up for $39.99 plus shipping. Somebody sent me an offer for $30. And I went ahead, well, they, I didn't have it up for best offer, but they sent me a message asking if I'd take $30. So I sent them an offer and said, sure, what? why not? Buyers $42 and change all in on this one. So if you watched my uh, trip to the thrift store a couple videos back, you see I picked up this video game here along with several others. This is Resident Evil Code X, Code Veronica X. 
Um, never heard this before, but you know, GameCube is kind of coming back in a hard way. There's a lot of titles up there that are really, really worthwhile. Um, I sold this on Mercari for $102 with free shipping, and I spent $3.98 on it, and I only had it a couple days. And then I got a viewer sale going out. This goes out to Carlos. Carlos, thank you for the purchase. Uh, he said he'd been binge watching all my videos on YouTube and was a big fan, wanted to support the channel the best way he could. And this was his favorite movie growing up, Legend with Tom Cruise, uh, Ridley Scott. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. This is a part of a big lot of DVDs I'm selling for a buddy of mine on consignment. So 50% for me, 50% for him. Thank you for the purchase, Carlos. Let's pull some more orders here. First up, I got this pack of Max L CDs, CDR Max. Uh, these sold for $12 plus shipping. And in you here, we got DVD Wild Wild West, new sealed. That's uh, $8.99 free shipping. L here, we got Lethal Weapon 4. And then up here on the Lisa shelf, got this Star Wars Zam Wessel graphic novel. Uh, this is $14 free shipping on Mercari. Next thing I got up here is an action figure that was mine from when I was a kid. This is a Robotech uh, Myra. It's a Zentradi figure. If you come across Robotech, Mass Cross Saga, um, hot stuff back from the 80s, it's got a pretty big cult following. Um, I saved these for my son. He never really played with them, so I'm starting to get them listed. I just put this up from the time it is right now, about an hour ago, and it sold almost instantly for $24.95 plus shipping. Um, there was no sold comps on this one in particular in this condition, but there was a couple listed, so I was a little hesitant. Um, to go that high but i probably could have went higher because somebody was asking like 90 bucks for it but still went out and sold hey guys it is monday here i got a few more things going out first one if you watched my uh, thrift store pickup a couple videos back i got this uh arizona cardinals larry fitzgerald jersey for four bucks at a goodwill and it sold pretty pretty quick there for 34.99 plus shipping not a not so big sale here. These are Lenny Deeds, two vinyl records that I picked up out of a uh, estate sale that I got a whole ton of records from. This is just some of the scraps, I guess, it was laying around. Two records for $2.99 plus shipping. I guess I could have just redonated those. Got this old Silverhawks figure. This was an old toy from when I was a kid here. Um, son didn't play with them. They'd just been sitting around, so I decided to list them. And this one sold $10.99 plus shipping. I picked up this season one of Dark Angel on DVD. I got it for $2.98. I had hopes of holding on to it until I found season two, but I went ahead and listed it up there just to see, and it sold for $15 plus shipping. And then the last thing I got going out here is this pack of stamp hinges. Kind of a sad day, I guess. This is the last one. So if you have not seen these in a video before, I got these at an estate sale where I got a ton of stuff and have made a bunch of money. On this particular item alone, I've been selling them for $19.95 plus shipping. I got 75 of them, and this is the last one to go out. So all in all, I made $1,496 just on a box and a half of these things. Who knows? I might even try to see if the box is worth anything now. So I got a friend from work that developed a product that I'm going to try to sell. She asked me um, before she tries to take it to a market or anything to see if there was any interest. And I don't really see too much out there like this. So this is called Don't Forget a Driver Reminder. It's a USB port plug-in thing that you charge and you plug this into your seatbelt and you can record yourself a message to let you know that you have a baby or a small child in the car but it can be personalized for anything. So I decided to go ahead, I, I did some comp searching on it. I found something similar to it. Um, it was more like a clip-on thing just in your car that sold for $25 plus shipping. So I'm gonna go ahead and see. She said she can get me as many of these as I want. So this one she gave me for free to try to sell for her. And uh, if they turn into something that can sell, I, I may start helping her to market this product. So we'll see about that. Um, you know, optimistic, but you know, you never know. Hey guys, it's Tuesday now. Um, I only got two things going out today, which is a really, really light day for me. I've been moving on average about eight to 10 packages a day, but hey, not every day is gonna be a winner. 
Um, I do got this vinyl record going out. This is uh, We Are The World. Um, excellent condition there, just wasn't worth a lot. $6 plus shipping. And then as I slowly make my way through my old toys that my son hasn't played with in a while, I got this lot of action figures. These are all Marvel figures. Some of these are early early uh, 80s, like with the uh, Secret Wars. The rest of them are early to mid 90s ones. All loose, all well played with. No accessories except for one. But they still sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And these are going out with the Global Shipping Program. But who knows how much these guys are going to cost to get to where they're going. All right, so that is it for today. Thank you very much for checking out the channel as always. Please remember hit that like button and subscribe. I'm only eight away from 700 as I made this video. I really appreciate that. If you got any questions, comments, please drop them in the box down below. I will get to them in a future video. And thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one.